How did he look particularly defensively? Because uh, Coach was talking about him being the rim protector you guys had missed in recent seasons. Oh, yeah, man. He's uh, real athletic, and it kind of just plays his role. You know, mm -hmm. he, he doesn't demand too much with the ball. Um, he sets screens well. He's a big body. And, uh, yeah, like you said, you know, now we can kind of pressure up more because we know EK is in the back, you know, uh, cleaning up shots and uh, getting rebounds. So, yeah, he's going to be a huge key to, uh, to our success. How would you kind of describe the team's defensive style this year? Everybody knows you're going to be more up-tempo on offense, but how would you kind of say you're going to be defensively? Um, you know, Coach, you know, more, more help-oriented. Um, you know, Coach, we, we call it gaps. Um, so what we do is we fill in the gaps and make sure guys won't be so aggressive attacking us. Um, and that's kind of how we do it is rotation, um, you know, pressure guys, like basically contested twos and things like that. So I think that's going to initiate our offense. Coach, we're talking about the guys are kind of getting tired of going against each other in practice. How, how much are you looking forward to actually having an exhibition game next week and playing somebody else? I'm really excited. Um, you know, it's always good to go against these guys, but, you know, Putting the test into a real game is always going to be it's going to be the key just the whole season, and um, I'm just going to look, I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's my last year, and you know I'm excited. So, some of your teammates have been talking about the hype around Lonzo. Um, you know, people asking for autographs in Australia. Like, what kind of things have you seen, and what do you what do you think of all that for a, a freshman? Uh, you know, just coming in. I mean, he came in, did what he's supposed to do. He did what he did in high school, which was great. Um, you know, and transition to college we want the same transition um and you know it's, his game is really it's kind of it's kind of easy you know he passes and that's what he loves to do um and with Bryce and I shooting the ball I think he, you know he's going to get a lot of assists so it's going to make his job easier and, and our job much easier as well what's, what's it like to make that transition you made it as a freshman Definitely. you know how, how big of a jump is that and what's it like for a guy to have a lot of expectations while he's making that jump um you know, I think it's just just playing the game. You know, it's basketball at the end of the day is basketball. And uh, when guys, they kind of, you know, make the game complex when they start to overthink and, and uh, thinking it's, it's, it's much more than, you know, just just basketball, really. And it's easy. It's just make simple plays, basic, and just be simple. And I think, I think that's what's going to help him throughout the way. And uh, like you said, he's just a passer. He loves to pass, and that's going to open his game up uh, for, for offense as well. Does it give him some credibility with, with you guys who have been on this level, seeing what he did in high school? I mean, just winning a state championship, and does that matter a lot with you all, or not so much because it's high school? Well, definitely. I mean, you know, always high school, you know, it, it holds weight, you know, especially here in California where it's kind of competitive. Um, but, yeah, you know, we just want him to bring that same winning mentality over here. And, you know, he knows what it takes, and we kind of know what it takes us being here for three, four years. So. You know, we're going to be prepared for this season. You know, like I said, I'm, I'm excited.